Hey guys, welcome back to some Minecraft. This is Mike. Um, finally going to be doing a series here. I think I finally found something that I'd really like to um, actually play through with you guys. <clears throat> um, I have been home for like the last week or so, but I've just been playing Avius and Pokemon Omega Ruby, and I haven't really found anything that I wanted to record. Um, I wanted to do something a little bit more original on my channel, something a little bit different as always, because um, that's usually what I've been doing on the channel, and wanted to do something a little bit different. So, this is a massive, massive mod pack. I got the AT Launcher. Um, if you guys know Hey That's Gaming, I watched her over the summer when she did something called Sky Factory. Specifically because I had heard about the Ex Nihilo mod, and I saw that she was playing it in addition with other mods in this big mod pack called Sky Factory. You guys know I really kind of liked Skyblock. I've tried to do Let's Plays of it a couple times. We had a pretty good one where I played it with like other people, and we all had to like meet up to get all the resources. Well, one of the things I never really liked about Skyblock was you were some things you could get a bunch of like cobblestone you could basically farm a bunch of things but then there were other things that you couldn't for instance dirt um and some other things that were really restrictive on like what you could do with those resources well ex nihilo is this mod that allows the expansion of that i'll give you one example you make a barrel you fill it with like leaves and saplings and you let it compost over like a day or so and then it turns into dirt and you can get more dirt um just little things like that add an expansive process to the sky block and it really allow you to have fun and really allow you to build a lot of crazy stuff. Um, so I was thinking I was just going to play normal sky block with Ex Nihilo, which is what some people do. Um, but then I was like, well, the mod is made to work with a lot of other mods and have a huge expansion process. And I'm like, I haven't played Tech It since like 1.2 or something. And I was like, well, that would be, I mean, like, I remember there's a lot of crazy stuff in Tech It. And then I'm thinking, well, I don't know what Tech It's doing anymore, but there is something new um, because I only watched like the the first little bit of Hey That's Gaming's videos, and then later I watched um, like a couple ones. Like later, I just like skipped through to see what she did, and it was like craziness um, with all the machines and all this stuff. And I was like totally lost in what she was doing. But I was like, that's kind of interesting that all those mods are in Minecraft. So either way. That was in 1.6. Recently, over the new year, Sky Factory released Sky Factory 2. It's on 2.1. It updated again like yesterday or something. But it's finally for 1.7.10. You can see down here, 124 mods loaded. There's a lot, a lot of mods in this. Now, um, I have all of them. There's the mandatory mods, and then there's the optional mods that you can choose from when you install it. I installed all of the mandatory mods, except for I disabled OpenEye because I hate, like, Snooper. I don't care if it's anonymous. It's never totally anonymous, and I don't want you getting my gameplay information. Um, so I turned off OpenEye, even though I know it's really helpful. Um, mod developers will get on that. I know Chase, I think we have that on Avius because Chase is like, we, or Zerthic is like, we need to help. Because um, as a mod developer himself, he uh, really likes that. But there's OpenEye, um, <clears throat> and then there was a couple optional ones, there's like a half dozen or so. I selected all except for these. So I'm basically giving you a list of the mods that aren't installed from the total mod pack. Um, by the way, this is with the AT launcher. It's run with the AT launcher. It's like the first one in the list if you get it. More player models. I think that just adds like your player to have different models. Is That's what it said. Tails. It said I could get different tails. That's all it said. And I was like, that just sounds, I'm like animal tail. So I just say, well, it didn't sound funny. Lucky Blocks, I disabled that because on the website he said, like, the reason he moved this to optional is because sometimes it, it literally, if you use this, you're probably going to turn into be really OP. You're either going to die or you're going to make become, like, really, really OP. And then finally, I did decided not to use Vein Miner, even though I was kind of persuaded to do it at first. That just makes it easy for cutting down trees and collecting resources. So I disabled it just because it makes it seem, like, easy. I still want to play survival, um, survival mode. So that's that. Um, now, we're going to get started here in a moment, but I do want to say one other thing. There's a lot of the stuff in here is great, but I will admit that there are some things that I do feel are slightly cheap. Um, there's things that make sense that would be like, well, why does it Minecraft have that in there already? You would think that Minecraft would have that in. And, but then there's other things that, like, Minecraft doesn't have that in because that's just, like, dumb and cheap way to advance in the game. But that's the way it is. So, um, I'm not going to mess with any of this stuff. I'm just going to call this Skyblock 
survival. Um, and then it's probably going to lag out here like crazy. So it takes a while to load. I mean, it takes like three or four minutes to start Minecraft because of all the mods it has to activate. But we're going to see how this goes. Um, we're going to see how this goes. Oh, that was really quick this time, actually. Um, before I do anything... I do know I need to turn this down. We'll try 40% and see how that sounds. Because I'm no longer recording my voice separate. I'm using it all on Fraps at once because I'm also using an older version of Fraps, um, which seems to be working. Okay, a whole bunch of stuff in chat. Um, that's just config loaded. Um, Mike7493 has just earned the achievement. Thank you. So we'll go look at that in a second. Um, it did pop up earlier that there was a couple mods in the mod pack that have updates, and that's what he goes through and does that. 2.1 took care of some of that, but there were some other ones. Disabling zero crafting recipes. Achievement install. So thank you is an achievement from Food Plus. Apparently that's a thing. Okay. We have a ton of stuff. Achievement get taken into a ton of stuff. This first video is probably just really going to be me looking at everything and seeing what it has and reading through stuff and explaining the process. Um, that'll probably be the first episode. I want to try and probably cut these into short 10 or 15 minute episodes. The first ones will keep long because you're going to see everything. But then there's going to be a lot of repetition in the process and it's really going to be me playing for an hour showing you 10 minutes what I did. Um, one of the optional ones is open is the in, expanded inventory. As you can see, I have two hop bars. Um, they said there's a way to make this one long row. I think I have to go into the mod options. I'm going to look into doing that. If anybody knows, comment down below like a quick way to do it, because I would like to make it one row rather than two. And this is also an expanded inventory option. You can apparently use XP to do this, so it's kind of like a way to like use something. I don't know what I don't know if it's vanilla XP or what or this XP, but you can do that. And I thought that'd be kind of cool, um, even though we aren't doing like big traveling. We're staying in one place, so it's probably not going to be too useful. Um, obviously. That's that. You can see we have three books. Let's take a look at three books. World Domination with Open Blocks. Okay. <clears throat> open Blocks is a new open source mod that introduces a variety of ideas into Minecraft, introducing hang gliders, elevators, tanks, graves, paints, cranes, liquid XP, cartographers, trophies, and more. Okay, so basically, this is just a mod, and this shows you, oh, this is a crafting guide to make these things. Elevator sprinkler paint mixer bear trap canvas that's kind of cool vacuum hopper i don't know what any of this does like i said i really don't know like i remember tech it i remember it being really overwhelming but i remember having this and i was able to work with skaten to make like little minimal things and i watched a couple guys play it um but items squeegee Okay, so I don't want to sit here and like read all this stuff with you guys. Um, how do I get out of here? So no X. I guess I gotta just do E. Yeah. Okay. So we don't really need this right now, um, but that has some information on it. So that's that. This next book it gave you materials and you volume one. Let's take a look at that achievement kit. Learning to tinker. Okay, so this is the tinker's construct, I think. That's probably the guide to this. Um, surviving the first day and beyond. Getting started recipes, armor modifiers, table of contents. Welcome to the first edition of Materials and You, Surviving the First Day and Beyond. Within these pages, you will find the first steps to making the tools and materials you need to survive. This book is a magic copy. It updates whenever the original has been modified. Check back occasionally information on new things. First step in making tools is crafting a blank pattern. It's a blank slate to stamp a shape into, providing a reference for future creations, blah, blah, blah. Together, these make the tool warp shot. I recommend you keep all these nearby when using any of them. Okay, here's crafting recipes. I apparently need to make all of these things. Orberry bushes. That's some of that stuff. Like we're not going to see really because we don't have natural generation. Hmm. Okay. So this is again. This is for the second mod. This has an explanation, a step-by-step -step process of what to go through. Um, oh, there's a materials in you volume two. 
and Mighty Smelting. So what is the, how do we make this book? Paper and a blank thing. So we'll probably need to make that later, obviously. We'll make the other volumes of this book. Um, wow, there's a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, well that's that. So we don't really need this right now. We'll keep that in that top hop bar. Achievement book. Welcome to Sky Factory 2. Okay, this is the actual guy who puts together the mob pack for Sky Factory. Um, this is his book. And this is probably the main book we're going to be using. Hello and welcome to Sky Factory 2, a modded Skyblock mod pack. An infinite world of possible possibility awaits you after you build it, of course, because you'll be starting a void world with nothing between you and death but a single tree on a piece of dirt. But don't pack panic. But don't panic. The mods in this pack will allow you to get all the resources you need to build yourself an amazing world. Head on for more info about how to play this pack, who put it together, and for a list of goals for you to accomplish. How to use this book. Use arrows at the bottom of the right of the navigate. You will see challenges broken into ages that represent the general path of progression. Although you do not need to do them in order, simply check the box next to each challenge as you complete them. Careful though, they get harder as you go along. Also, don't forget to craft yourself an achievement stand to store this book in. Ooh, that's cool. I want to craft an achievement stand. I love achievements. I really love achievements. That's why I'm going to play this now. So, a note about biomes. I noticed there's a whole bunch of achievements. We'll look at that too in a minute. I'll help you go through the early game, but there are several commonly asked questions regarding biome behavior in Sky Factory. Okay. So, I guess we'll start here with this is a note about biomes. I believe if I looked, I noticed correctly, we were in the forest biome. So, barrels fill with water just fine when it snows, so there's nothing wrong with spawning in a snow biome such as a taiga. It does not rain in a desert, so barrels will not fill with water, but that is still a fine place to spawn because water buckets are craftable. Look it up in the NEI to see how. Craft water buckets? Okay, I'll look at that. That's kind of interesting. See, then things like that seem cheap to me. You can't just, like, create water. But we'll look at that. Either way, we're in forest, though. Oceans will spawn monsters, but will not spawn passive animals. And mushroom biomes spawn only mushrooms, mushrooms, and no monsters. We're in neither of those. We don't have to worry about that. But because of that, ocean and mushroom are both viable places to spawn, and it will just add to the challenge and forge you to travel if you want to complete all of the challenges. Of course, we'll be traveling as well. Hopefully, biomes are nearby. This is not large biomes, so it'll totally be doable. Also, if you're the kind of person who likes to train dragons, remember that what biome you hatch your dragon will determine what kind of dragon it goes up to be. We can hatch dragons. So this is a guy, Bacon Donut, who put together this massive pack. Special thanks to all these people. The challenges. Okay, here we go. You can't ever beat the pack, but I provided a list of challenges designed to help you progress. So this is kind of like to help you get started for somebody like me who has no idea what to do. I know like the first like two or three episodes, I know what they're going to be in terms of Ex Nihilo because you use that to basically start everything else. But that's really it. Don't worry if you don't know how to do some of them. Have fun with the process of searching for answers. You'll have you'll learn a lot and you'll have some fun too. I didn't read a lot of the website because it said don't read this if you don't want the spoilers and you want to figure it out. And I'm like, I want to figure it out with you guys. They're divided into ages that roughly match up game progression, but you do not have to do them in order. So the wood age. This is where we are now, I would imagine. A new age dawns before you. You don't have anything to work with, but this tree, so let's make the most of it. Use a crook on leaves to get saplings in a silkworm. Make dirt by composting saplings in an oak barrel. Infest leaves with a silkworm. Okay, then there's the Stone Age and a Farming Age and the Age of Exploration. Machine Age. Oh my gosh, there's a lot here. Okay. Well, we got a lot to do before we can do that. Um, what is this? Oh my gosh, what the heck? Okay, what is this? Oh, maybe this is where I do it. Repair friendly refills, more options, shortcuts on, auto refills on, middle click on. Um, actually, never, never mind. This might not be it. I don't know what that is. Okay. Um, so I gotta figure out how to use this. So this is like the the thing where you could spawn a bunch of ones, but it's the one when you're in survival where you can't do anything. Okay, I don't want to do this. I don't want to be in cheat mode, so we won't mess with that. Yeah, we don't need any of that. Um, so basically, you have the normal Minecraft items. There's 95 pages, and then after the first couple pages, you get into all of the new stuff. Holy crap. I can make all this stuff out of a tree and one piece of dirt. 
Or at least a lot of it, I guess. Oh my gosh, I'm not flipping through 95 pages. I'm just curious. So, I think I can also search for stuff. Which is waters, X and Hilo. Fire water. What is this? Cactus juice. Okay, that would make sense. Cactus have water in them. Maybe you could squeeze them out. But you need an actual bucket first, and that takes a while. Or essence water. Okay. Okay, so I can basically search for things. Sorry, you guys are probably like, okay, really, you're that much of a noob? I've never, I haven't, I used this like once. It was a long time ago. Okay, you also notice that we were given one torch. I believe this is something that's different from the other versions. And that you get one torch from the start. You, you get it a little bit earlier or something. You change that. So, wow, I have spent the entire daylight talking and looking at things, but I'm okay with that. Um, you'll see up here in the top left, we have day zero, so we just started. That's the time, and you can see we are in a forest biome. And it looks like we're in the middle. We'll see as we grow out. Um, I don't know if this is on the top of the screen when I look at blocks, but it shows me the light level of the block, which is kind of useful. Uh, especially in a place where you don't want mobs currently harvestable. Shears and scissors, or whatever that other thing is. Okay. Well, I broke that. Um, okay, one more thing is we're going to look at the actual achievements here. So just like normal, we've got getting wood. So we have the normal Minecraft achievements, um, which we'll leave. Food Plus. This was the one we got when we joined. When we joined. Thank you. Create a freezer. Create a grill. Create a trash can. Create a juicer. Microwave. Countertop. All of these beyond our scope right now. Um, this is infinite inventory. Flopped that warm out. Warm drops. We'll be getting that one, I think. More space, unlike an extra slot, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that one. Applied Energistics 2. Oh my gosh. Craft a meteorite compass? What the heck? Find charged quartz. Okay, yeah, all of these beyond my scope of what is happening. Tinker's Construct. Um, okay, for Tinker's Construct... Um, we opened the manual. We did that. Craft a smeltery component. Okay, we need to get some stuff up with this, but I think we can actually do some of these. No, we can't. What, is, what are these things? What is this? Some of this stuff is just, like, ridiculous. Back to normal Minecraft. Okay, officially, we're done. What is that up there? What is that? Are those actual things? Are those platforms? I didn't know. No, there's no way those are actual platforms. No way those are actual platforms up there. That would make me upset if they were. There's stuff over there, too. What are I? I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out. What level are we at, speaking of which? 70. Okay. Well, either way, um, we've spent about 10... We spent about 15 minutes in. So I'm going to go ahead and punch this tree, and then that'll be the first episode. Sorry about that, guys. This thing takes up so much of my screen. There's like not too much. Okay, we need to get a sapling. Okay, we got one sapling. <laughs> wow, that was lucky. That made it easy. I don't want the leaves to get destroyed underneath the bee. I don't want to have to restart this. Should I do it? Okay, look, we got one sapling, so good enough. Oh, we got another one. Not that it'll do us much good. We really just needed one. Oh, we missed one. I don't like how much space that thing takes up on my screen. That's why I want to make the bottom thing one row, because everything takes up so much. All right, here's our one piece of dirt. That's us. We are here in one piece of dirt in the entire void. Yep. All right, well, I guess we'll do what we normally do in any Minecraft. Turn all this down, make ourselves a crafting table. Go 
go ahead and do that. And as always, we want to probably turn these into into these things because that means we have more and also we don't want mobs to spawn. So mobs won't spawn on these half slabs here. Um, I will place one full block right here. And I will put our one torch on it. And I will plant our tree. And we'll wait for that to grow. Next up, I will make a chest to put all this stuff in, because I don't want to die with my little things. At least we planted the one sapling, so if something tragic does happen, I think we can relive, because we can remake those books. All right. That should be that. Let me look up the achievement stand. Achievement book. Decorative wood, achievement stand, has no book, has a book. Uh, oh, here we go. Oh, we can make this easy. We'll make this next. So that's how you make the achievement book. And then we can put, we just need six wood logs and then we can get an achievement stand we'll do that in case i tie with this book because we don't want to do that and then we'll also make a chest to do the other thing all right now we wait is that stuff moving up there no it's the sky moving there is stuff up there i don't like that i wanted to stay sky black my whole time what is up there I can see through it. You know, I can see the stars behind the blocks. Like right there. Is it just other clouds? Is it glass? What is that up there? I don't know. Um, but we shall end. One thing, I, I watched the first episode of Skyblock 2, Factor, Sky Factor 2, and obviously I found out that that's how I found out that the second one was out. Um, and I found out that they, oh, well, I have to disable sticky keys. Let me, let me uh, turn off sticky keys. Always in this section. Let's try this again. Apparently, apparently doing this. Apparently basically just working. Just gonna see just see particle effects. It's like the activity of using one bone meal on your tree. Which I kind of I can see this is sort of fair, like dancing for your tree, you know, makes it grow faster, because that makes sense, right? Just, you know it does get a little ridiculous standing around waiting for your tree to go tree to grow. Because basically I would sit here and wait like five minutes for that to happen. So I can do this and speed it up. Oh, there we go. Speaking of which Ooh. Okay, so that's it for this episode. We set up, we got ourselves a little platform. Next time on Sky Factory, I'm going to do everything with you guys again. We're going to take down a couple more trees, expand our platform, get some barrels up in case we get some rain, and get our achievement stand going. And a, tra and a chest as well. So thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. See ya!